Do BSRs really matter? Are they really that important? We're talking all about Amazon's bestseller rank in today's video. Hey everybody, I'm becoming at Mecca and Cooley Elliott. Which need best keywords in India and they need their problem solved, Americans. Why not? Ranger Rover Sports Supercharged. If your income goal is half a million dollars. Hey everybody, I'm Mackie coming at you from the Blueprint Publishing Academy. And if you wanna learn all things self-publishing, but more importantly, if you wanna learn how to increase your income so you can take back your freedom, so you can design your ultimate lifestyle, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn bell notifications on as I always answer your comments within the first hour of publishing a new video. On today's video, we're talking about the Amazon bestseller rank or your BSR. So first off, let's back up. What is a BSR? A BSR is the best selling rank on Amazon. Every single product that Amazon lists on their website, they get a BSR. It can range from one to, I don't think anybody actually knows what the highest one would be. But if it's number one, that means that, that product, whatever it is, is the number one selling product on the entire Amazon site. Wow. When we're talking about publishing specifically, we tend to view a BSR of under 100,000 uh, or less, so anything from zero to 100,000, as what's deemed a profitable keyword or, or search term. So that would mean that it's probably a topic that there's enough people buying that you'll be able to make some good money on if the BSR is under 100,000. But is that really still the case? Let's talk about that, for example. So where did this whole 100,000 BSR come into place? Well, I don't know. It's a waste of time trying to figure that out. But here's what I do know. 100,000 is not black or white. If it's 110,000, 130, or 150,000, does that mean that that keyword is no longer deemed profitable? If it's 80,000, is that keyword profitable? It's all relative and it changes based on the niche that you're looking your keywords at. So for example, let's take one of the larger niches like self-help or health and fitness. 100,000 is mm. gonna be a really, really profitable keyword. 150,000 mm. is still gonna make you a decent amount of money. But if we go into something a little smaller, mm. let's say like something in home and crafts or arts and crafts, whatever that category mm. is on Amazon, and we're looking at like sewing, for example, 100,000 might not be a very profitable keyword at all. You might have to go a lot lower because there's just not the same type of demand for, for that type of niche. So when I'm doing my keyword research and I'm typing in the keywords to Amazon, um, I still look at, hey, is this gonna be around 100,000? I'll look at the first six books and you know what, if four out of six of them are like around 100,000, one's at 110, one's at 150, I'll, I still deem that a pretty profitable keyword. The BSR, how often does it actually change? Well, here's the thing. It can change every single hour. So that's why it does help to track your keywords that you're looking at. Because you might find a keyword that looks great, but then if you track it over the next week, you might have just found it in one day that it looked good. So it's important to kind of keep track and analyzing them before you get into it. But remember, the most important thing when it comes to keyword research is not looking for that perfect keyword Finding a keyword that fits the criteria for whatever method you're following, publishing a book, and then analyzing the results, and then just re repeating that process over and over again. Hey, make sure you check out the description and hit me up in the comments. Let me know, you know, what are some of the BSRs you look for? Do you look for 100,000 or do you like going like 30 to 50,000 as your kind of cutoff? Love to hear what you have to say in the comments there, connect with you, tons of free resources inside the description of this video and uh, be sure to check out my Kindle publishing playlist for 2019. I'll link that up as well. Till next time everybody, I'm Ameka. I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.